All right, now I'm on the top of page 483. Number one, complete the dot plot. So we're using this data over here. They've already done one and two, so we're gonna start with three. There's a three. There's a three and there's a three. So we put three dots above three. Okay, fours. There's a four. One dot above four. Fives. There's a five, there's a five, there's a five. So three dots above five. Okay, six. There's a six, 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 and six. So five sixes showed up. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, sevens. No sevens. Eight. There's an eight. Eight, eight. Three eights. So three dots above the eight. Nine. There's a nine. One nine. Ten. There's a ten. Ten. Two tens. Eleven. There's an eleven. One eleven. And there's one twelve. So what was the most common distance Lionel biked? Well, we can see the tallest one is six, so six kilometers. I know it's kilometers because there's my unit of measure right there. What is the most common distance Lionel biked? Uh, six kilometers. How do I know? Because six came up the most and that means it's our mode it's the number that came up the most okay make a frequency table use the intervals one through three okay so we need to use a frequency table like we used on the prior problem so we make our chart okay we're going to include the title daily distance spiked Include our unit of measure kilometers okay. and then we want distance and frequency and then our distances are one to three kilometers how many times do we see a one through three there's a three, two, a one, two, two, one, three, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Okay, four to six kilometers. How frequently did that happen? Four to six. So there's a five, 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 six, 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 four. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. And seven to nine kilometers. How often did that happen? There's an eight, that's between seven and nine, seven and nine, seven and nine. So four times. And then 10 to 12 kilometers. How often did the number between 10 and 12 come up? Those are between 10 and 12, 10 and 12, 10 and 12, four times again. Okay, next make a relative frequency table. Use the same intervals. So again, a chart. Okay, we're still looking at daily distance biked. 
just looking at it in a different way. Daily distance. Biked. That's our title. Okay, and then we have, now we have three things though. We have distance. We have frequency. And we have relative frequency. Okay. So we have our one to three. That was eight times. And our percent, we'll, we'll do the percents at the end. Our four to six, which was nine times. Our seven to nine, which was four times. Our 10 to 12, which was four times. All right, so what were the total number of things that we measured? Well, this, this is eight times plus nine, that's 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 25 total data points. There's 25, so this must be yeah, five by five. So eight out of 25 would be what as a percent? That's 375, subtract, gives me 5, add a 0, bring it down, 2. So 0 0.32, which would be 32%. Okay, the next one was 9, so we do 25 into 9. Okay, 3, 75, subtract, 15, add a 0, bring it down. Um, into that would be six times. So 0.36 would be 36%. And then the last one happened four times, or the second to last one. There's 25 total. It happened four times. So we add a decimal, add a zero. One, 25, subtract, gives us 15. So six. And then that's going to be 16%. And since this is also 4, it will also be 16%. So the, that, those, this shows our relative frequency. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.